Cheryl tonight, family and colleagues of the man who's still here in the hospital at Loyola Hospital with burns all over his body are just praying he's going to survive. On the city's west side, other victims of the blast are now trying to figure out where they will start over with what little they have left. As a woman stands idly on the sidewalk, surveillance video captures the second of four-story apartment building explodes, and she runs in terror, dodging bricks, cement, and shards of glass spewing into the street. This man's colleague, Shabron Robinson, a West Side postal worker, was inside that building and among the rubble. His condition, he's, he's, he's in very serious condition right now. Another camera angle of the blast shows a bright orange flash, a mere instant that shattered the homes and lives of dozens of families, some who don't feel comfortable showing their face. All our stuff is covered with debris, dust, glass, ceiling, almost to my everything is smashed up. This morning, residents returned allotted just 30 minutes to grab what they could. Your heart just drops when you think about people who are in that building when it occurred. The Red Cross and Circle Urban Ministries have stepped up to provide the immediate relief. Now the question is, where do I put my things? And where do I go next? One resident says the owner and building management isn't offering enough. They're trying to put us inside another apartment that's $100, $150 more than what we're paying for rent right now. In a statement, a spokesperson for Urban Alternatives said in part, for all residents, Urban Alternatives will transfer their rents and deposits to cover expenses at their new homes. With their homes now lost without explanation, it's now an hour-by-hour hour struggle. As you can see, that building is now being boarded up tonight. The Department of Buildings in Chicago says they're still working with other city agencies trying to figure out exactly what caused that blast. And tonight, the owner tells us he's still not sure if people will ever be able to return to live in that building. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.